Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna show 2024 Honda NX500 first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. For 2024 but the NX500 is the most noticeable with its new name. Yes, the artist formerly known as the CB500X is now the NX500. A Honda NX standing for new X-Over is nothing new though on these shores it's not been seen since the 650 Dominator of the 90s. The air-cooled single-cylinder urban trails bike. The 2024A2 license-friendly manifestation of this mini-adventurer fits in alongside the CBR500R and CB500 Hornet which all continue to use the same 471 cubic centimeters parallel twin in the light middleweight. Category Updates to the 2024 Honda NX500 include an ECU update to improve acceleration. New wheels to help weight saving, revised suspension settings, better headlight and a new screen and switchgear with enhanced tech. This CB500X replacement is due in UK dealership in early 2024 and we'll be seeing it available in three color options. Grand Prix Red, Matte Gun Power Black Metallic and Pearl Horizon White, which replaces the lovely Pearl Organic Green. The price is just £100 more than the outgoing model, which appears to offer significant value considering the additional features. Though Honda, like others, are guilty of introductory prices which will be increased once the model is initially established. A typical PCP deal is likely to see a 17% deposit paired with a £99 month offer over three years offer. Stand by for official details. The firm's 471 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled parallel twin should be bulletproof, and being compatible with an A2 license, it makes a peak power figure of 35 kilowatts, which is 46.2 brake horsepower in real life. And that is way up there at 8, 600 RPM a heady figure that encourages you to use all the revs available. Peak torque can be found at 6, 500 RPM which registers 43 newton meters 31.7 foot-pounds which is still high enough for a bike whose prowess is in the low mid-range. Fuel injection setting had been improved for the previous version though some still complained of a jumpy low-speed throttle connection. You'll have no problem climbing to three figures if the opportunity arose, and winding on from 40 miles per hour for an overtake in third gear will be easy pickings. Though momentum is key if you're familiar with more powerful machines instead. Traction control is an addition for the 2024 model as a bonus for the rider's peace of mind, though it can still be turned off. New wheels and revised suspension settings are part of the attraction and headlines with the new model. The 19-inch front and 17 Rear cast aluminium wheels are completely new and move being a Y-shaped 7-spoke design to one with 5 spokes to save a combined 1.5 kilograms between them which should marginally improve handling with an emphasis on turning quicker. The already lightweight package now weighs in a total of 3 kilograms less than before, at a total of 196 kilograms. New spring rate and damping settings in the Showa 41mm separate function form Big Piston aka SFFBP upside down USD forks are said to improve reaction and feel for both road and off-road riding. Meanwhile, similarly new settings can be found in the monoshock at the rear and area of the CB500X that I noted during my time with it in the UK during the early part of 2022 required improving. Riding I found the rear compression a little too soft while the rebound matched. 